Hi, Bruce Jones here, and uh, welcome to Maps for Design and BJDesign.com. So we've had a great question that came in from a uh, one of our customers, and the question had to do with um, adding cities, dots, and extra text to one of our maps. So let's do that today, a little experiment or a little uh, example, and then we'll show you how to do that. This is using a PowerPoint map, and we'll also show it in Adobe Illustrator. So very simple to do. Let's get, let me get my tools in here. I'm just in a... Uh, in my version of PowerPoint, so what we have here on the screen is a, um, a map of Bolivia, and what we're going to do is we're going to add in a city. So this is a standard, one of our standard maps. Um, all the parts are uh, editable, and you can customize everything. You notice everything can be changed. Like I could take the map of Bolivia, and um, I go down here to my colors, and I could change it to to a different color, just like that. So very very simple and and straightforward to do. So what we're going to do is put a new city right in here on the Bolivia map. So PowerPoint comes with a nice selection of tools. Um, you could use a dot or uh, a star. So there's a couple simple ways to make a dot. I'm going to um, just go on my keyboard. So I'm going to select my text tool. I like to work out in the ocean when I'm going to add something. So we're just going to take and click. And I'm on a Mac, so it's just an option eight and I can make a quick bullet, just like that. So I just take the keyboard, here's my keyboard, and options down here, and eight. I think on the PC it's um, maybe an alt and an eight, and I have a, uh, a dot, a real simple dot. So I, inside here is live text, outside it's an object, so I can move it around, and I'm gonna put it right in here, because I'm gonna add in the city of Santa Cruz in Bolivia. So it's up a little bit higher, so I'm just gonna move it up like that, I think it's about where it is. So there I have a new dot, and let's make it red, because that's going to be where my sales offices are located. So we'll just make it red. So I just went over to my formatting palette, which is right here. You can find it in the pull-down menus. And once I select something, that option will open up. So if I'm on, a, on, a, on an object, if I close this, I'll show you what happens if I select this and click it open. Actually, it's right here. All the, uh, the tools open up so you can put stuff in it. So now I have it red. I have it marked where I want. And I want to put a piece of text here that says Santa Cruz. The easiest way to do this is just grab a piece of text somewhere else. Um, here, I want to make it fairly big because it's going to be my, uh, my sales office. So I'm going to do copy and paste. So copy, paste. I just did it from the keyboard. I can just move this block. Remember, if I click inside, it's live text. Outside, it's an object. And I'm just going to select it and just type Santa Cruz, so S-A-N-T-A, C-R-U-Z, like that. And there we go. And we're just going to sort of place this right near there. And there you go. So what we've done is we've added a block of text, we've added a dot, and we put in a new city, all on this um, basic PowerPoint map, real straightforward, real simple. So uh, let's go do it with Adobe Illustrator, the same thing, very similar. If you have that, so I'm just going to go to my Illustrator version. Here it is here. I have my tools. I have my same map. And I'm going to do basically the same thing, except this one time I'm going to do a little bit different. Instead of selecting and putting it in text, I'm going to go to Illustrator to my toolbar. And I'm just going to go over here to the box tool. And there's one the ellipse tool. So that would be my circle. If I hold the shift key down on my keyboard, shift, hold. I can drag out a circle and it stays a circle. See it there? How it comes out? So it's big. And I can uh, now I can resize it. Hold down the shift key again, make it any size I want. I happen to have red selected, so it wants red. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move it right about in here. Let's see where that is. So that's where Santa Cruz is. Uh, this time, instead of grabbing a piece of text, I'm just going to go to the text tool. And again, I like to click out in the ocean away from anything to do my uh, typing. So Santa Cruz, a little bit big. So let's go to my character palette and I can downsize that. So let's just make it, oh, 16 point is pretty good. So now I have it in uh, right here. I'm just gonna pick it up, put my, my pointer, this tool right here, right into the, uh, on the block of text and just position it where I want it to go. So there you go, you have the same thing in Illustrator. I have a red dot um, highlighting where this city is. I have some text and now I've added a city with text and a dot. Um, I could use any kind of symbol. If we go back over to PowerPoint, um, if in this draw, 
um, pop-up menu or in the new uh, PowerPoint up at the top, um, you can go to this command and look at all these cool shapes. So I can put lots of different shapes in here. And let's say I wanted to put a star. I can just click on it, click, hold, and drag it out, and I can make a star of any color I want, and I can color it as simple as that. So very easy to put in a wide variety of shapes to highlight locations. So, um, all right. Well, thank you for joining us today. This is Bruce Jones from Maps for Design. You can get our maps there in editable PowerPoint uh, format, or you can go to BJ Design and get a whole collection of them uh, in PowerPoint and Illustrator. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.